kitchen. Today we're going to do a yummy salmon wrapped in puff pastry. And really I guess you could use any fish, but I love salmon. I'm a salmon fanatic and this is so simple to put together. Very few ingredients, takes all of just minutes, but it's very elegant too. So it could look kind of fancy. So down here I have some salmon. The, the, the key that you want to know <laughs> to have your salmon um, thawed and skinless and boneless. So these I just defrosted in my um, microwave. And then you, the next thing you want to do is pat them dry. So I have a couple um, paper towels here. I'm just going to wrap and pat dry. And that will make it lay nicer on the um, puff pastry. But I'll set this aside for a minute because I'm going to roll that puff pastry out. What you need to do is this is just a store-bought puff pastry. They work so well easy, fairly um, inexpensive if you consider the whole dish. I'm going to put a little bit of flour on my granite there and just roll this out. Now when you're rolling it you want to think about the size of salmon that you have and my salmon is long and thin almost like a hot dog but if you had a salmon that was oh square shape then you might want to roll your puff pastry out a little bit different, but this is going to be good. I'll just roll this longer this way and then wrap it around the salmon. Okay, then with a the knife I'm just going to slice that puff pastry in half and lay my salmon right into the middle. Lost a little piece there and dry the next piece as well. Pat that dry and put that there. Okay. Patch that up. Alrighty, then to season this you can use, um, if you have a favorite seasoning go for it, like this is one just from a local store here gone fishing. Um, I like to season mine with just salt and pepper. A little bit of that on each piece. And then you could do some lemon in there a little bit, not too much because again you don't want to get too much moisture. But I love mustard, believe it or not. If you like honey mustard, just run a bead of honey down there and then put your spicy mustard on that. You can even if you want to lay some dill on there also, just sprinkle a little bit of dill. I'm going to make a dill sauce to go with this. So you don't have to do this. Salt and pepper really is all you need. And then just wrap and fold this up and over. You don't have to worry about crimping and sealing and sealing your edges or anything like that. You can just fold it that simply. And then I'm going to move this and spray your pan with a little bit of baking spray. Lay it fold side down. See I'm not trying to seal my edges or anything, I'm just folding. And then you're going to put a little bit of an egg wash on there. And if you do not have a basting brush, I like to use even just a spatula and my egg right here. Just spread that on nice and thin. And then that one. And I have two in the oven cooking right now that I'll pull out in a second. But we'll throw this in at 375 degrees for about 15-20 mm, minutes. It is just that easy. So simple as can be and I'm going to throw that in the oven and then we'll get the other one out but I'll make a yummy sour cream and dill sauce. Okay. <laughs>